what I would have you do is maybe actually kind of walk us through what you're doing. Like you don't have to do an intro or anything like that, just kind of... What am I trying to do? Yeah. Trying to finish this freaking piece. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm here to talk to you today about the Outlaw series. Uh, behind me on my right here is a piece I did back in 1994 called Outlaw. The image uh, had a lot of popularity with our collectors and Harley Davidson rejected the image because of the sidearm on it. So there's one print that exists, it's behind me. You, uh, you can't see I'm sure, but it says one over one Outlaw. And then flash forward to 30 years later, a client had seen that image in my book and they said, do you know where that painting is? And I didn't. It's one of the only pieces I have no idea where the painting actually is. And so I decided to do an outlaw number two. And the gentleman that wanted the original, I said, I can use your, your bike in it and I can use your firearm. So on my left is outlaw number two. Todd worked on it, Jimmy worked on it, Lucy worked on it. It's been like a group effort for three months. I mean, it's insane. I don't do too many pieces this involved anymore. I just don't have the, the time. This is a CVO bike. This is the gentleman's CVO bike. If you look at the handle, there's a couple notches in the handle. And supposedly, this was Jesse James' gun. And he killed a couple people with this particular gun. So each time he shot somebody, he put a notch in it. Uh, this gun is, I can't remember the age of it. I should, uh, I should know my homework here. He didn't have a holster for it, so we went over to the uh, old time photos across the street and we said, hey, we need a holster from that era. So we got this beautiful holster and we shot it, but we didn't have the, you know, I want to tell you a little bit more about it because it was pretty fun. We didn't have the gun when we shot the motorcycle. So I took this and I hung it on the dog cage upstairs in the apartment on the side of the dog cage to get photographs of it. And then I brought the gun down here and held it next to another motorcycle to get an idea of the scale of the bike itself to the, to the gun. You know, there's a lot of, this took a long time in here to get that kind of warm leather look. And there's, like I said, there's not a simple spot on this entire piece. There's detail everywhere, every inch of it's got detail. Some of the areas almost look like modern paintings. You can see all the refraction of light and the reflections from uh, the ground upside down like you would like if you held up a spoon, um, you would get your reflection, but it would be upside down. Same thing with this here. So getting there, just have some nuts and bolts to finish. I wanna scuff this up a little bit more. I need this to look a little more weathered. I'm gonna put a little more detail in the handle of the gun. And then I need to do a little more in here. Even though the reference doesn't show much more, I need to pop this a little bit more. So I'm gonna pop this area. And then I gotta think about where I'm gonna sign it. I haven't done a close-up like this in a long time. They've all been full bite pieces. Especially this big, this is 36 by 48 inches. And this is uh, uh, pretty much average for the, the Sturgis painting for the last few years. I did 36 48s. It's hard to navigate around this with my arm with the mobility problems I have. So, so when you get to a piece this size, this is about the max for me right now. Kind of cool, I like it. So Outlaw number two is my official piece for the 83rd Sturgis Rally. Very proud of it, very different, because the last couple of years I did a couple pieces that had people in them. And this is going back to my roots. You know, the, the challenge of, of doing a piece that's well, this large, three by four feet, and this close up, is when you're doing the piece big, you have so much more room for detail. You know, if I compress an engine, you only have so much space. So a smaller engine tends to take a lot less time, even though they have the same parts. But when you blow up the timing cover this big, you realize how many more reflections there are, how much more detail is needed in the actual side cover. So it's challenging because you got to render the hell out of it, it's in your face. I mean, you come up close to it, there's a lot of detail. And if you really look at all the detail in this raw edge of the leather around here and the modeling throughout the metal of the gun and the handle, there's a ton of detail in this piece. What I'm excited about is in 
this is the first time in 30 years that somebody can actually buy and hang an outlaw piece because the piece behind me was never printed this is the only copy of it here known number one over one so finally after 30 years you can hang one in your house Thank you.